What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, you guys were hitting me up on Instagram and Twitter as well. A lot of interesting things happened to close off the show, man. Uh, it sucks that uh, I missed this Monday Night Raw to watch it with you guys live, but best believe I definitely was able to catch the last segment and then I, I rewatched everything that led up to what went down at the end of the show but before we talk about exactly what went down we got to talk about triple h triple h's booking decisions tonight have been quite interesting quite polarizing so it seems that nikki cross has aligned herself with damage control as i i guess i, I guess i've i, I kind of figured out what happened and a lot of you guys as well so it looks like we may get the for the women's war games we may get uh um uh, probably someone teaming up with bianca oscar and alexa bliss uh to make it an even uh even situation with damage control and uh, nikki cross but apparently nikki cross won the 24 7 championship i forgot the belt was still a thing uh, we hadn't really seen much of it on television thank goodness so i'm like all right cool she wins it she's she's like in this little trance as she's walking backstage with the championship and she proceeds to throw the championship in the trash well actually she missed the trash can she wasn't even looking at the trash she just kind of threw it she was it was supposed to land in the trash but she missed it that's how trash the championship is it doesn't even belong in the trash that's how awful that belt is it doesn't even belong in a trash can a trash can is more valuable than that 24 7 championship and she completely missed it it just fell behind the trash can into obscurity where it belongs and i think that is the end of the 24 7 championship because nikki cross she's in a trance she doesn't even care about it threw it away all you hear is the metal clinging behind the trash can it was great so shout out to triple h finally getting rid of that belt the only good thing that came out of that belt is our truths segments hopefully you get well soon our truth but our truth segments were the best thing about that belt everything else was it's doo-doo garbage dumpster juice <laughs> it is just it was the worst of the worst didn't care for it glad that it's pretty much been laid to rest behind a trash can and no one needs to retrieve it let it sit there to the end of days bro so yeah i thought that was cool had to definitely mention that so we got to talk about this whole ending sequence so if you seen my last video uh of Rhea catching no beats go check it out right now hopefully it's still up um you know youtube is kind of iffy with reactions to wwe content especially if it's like new or whatever or something recent so i hope it didn't get blocked worldwide so if it's up while you're watching this awesome if not then i probably have to re-upload it again for you guys which i would do that because i want y'all to see that reaction but i was talking about how seth rollins may be a face or a tweener because uh judgment day came out there and finn Balor was like y'all want to smoke with you i ain't forget what happened a few years ago uh with the whole universal championship situation you injured me blah 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 blah, blah. So he seemed more like a face, but he kind of slid out of there once the OC came up and, you know, he came back out and he got a pretty good baby face reaction. It, 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 he was thanking the fans for being there for the ups and downs. Um, and it was one of those things where it's like, OK, he's definitely this is like a baby face type promo. So he offered the U.S. Open Challenge once again. You see Mustafa Ali or Mustafa. Uh, I think that's how the announcer was pronouncing it. I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. You see him in the back. He's like, yo, Seth, bro. Seth freaking Rollins, man. I'm I'm ready for that 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 one-on-one, -on -one, man, for the United States Championship. And he gets attacked by Bobby Lashley. And Bobby's like, nah, 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 nah. I ain't forget Brock cost me that title and you took advantage of it. So you know what? I'm going to challenge you for that title since you since you offered up the challenge i'm coming down there uh mustafa tried to get some type of offense get some you know try to attack back but he literally threw him like a sack of potatoes he fell behind a production crate and was to never be seen again he, he just went to a no he went to the gulags there behind that uh production crate so he comes down to the ramp 
Bobby, I'm, I'm liking this mode he's in. He's pissed. He's, he's not he's not in a good space mentally. And he's dangerous. I love that. They're, I love the showing his dangerous side. He comes out there. Before the bell even rings, he clotheslines Seth Rollins out the ring. And he, I mean, he proceeds to give Seth Rollins the beat. Now, Seth Rollins ultimately tries to fight back or whatnot. But uh, to no avail. I mean, Seth Rollins. Bobby Lashley was, was whooping his ass for about a good five to ten minutes. Crowd booing him. Officials trying to stop it, bro. Like, he's just ground and pound. He ends up throwing him through the table. Beautiful spot. Crowd booing him. He walks off. Walks up the ramp. And then all of a sudden, you see Austin Theory come out there. Now, you're wondering, what's Austin about to do? Is he about to attack Rollins some more? That's what you're thinking. We they go. They cut to the commercial break. We go back. He's just standing there looking at Rollins. And then all of a sudden, he says, fuck it. I'm going to go cash this in right now. So he cashes in his money in the bank briefcase on Seth Rollins while he's injured. Crowd's like, what the fuck? When I'm watching it, I'm like, what the hell? Because I know you guys were telling me to check this out. Austin cashed in. I had to see this. So he cashed in. On Seth Rollins for the United States Championship. I don't think I've ever... Rem I don't think there's ever been a time... Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think there's ever been a time... Where a champion has actually... Cashed in... On a mid card. Well, not champion, but the, the Money in the Bank... Briefcase winner... winner Cashing in on a mid card title. I don't think that's ever happened. I think this is the very first time... We've ever seen something like that. I mean... You can do it. It's for any title for up to a year. You have a, a guaranteed title opportunity for any title that, uh, that's uh, up to a year. So he cashed in on the United States champion. And we had a United States championship match. And you would think it was going to be over. But no. Seth Rollins fought through. He kept fighting through. And then, as uh, Austin Theory is potentially about to get the win. He, it's over. I think he hit him with his finisher. He's about to get the win. It looks like it is done. That's when Bobby Lashley said, no, 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 no. No, it's not going down like that. He moves the ref out of the ring before the three count. Ref's knocked out. Then he gets into it uh, with Austin Theory, and then he proceeds to give Austin Theory the beat. This show was about Bobby Lashley giving out the beats and i loved it bro he beat the crap out of austin theory is always a good sight to see uh put him in his submission hole dude passed out and then what was kind of crazy he passed out and the ref comes to is about to be a count of 10 and he makes it at nine and a half but you're supposed to be passed out i thought that was a kind of a interesting spot right so he gets back into the ring. Seth Rollins is already ready. Set up for the curb stump. Boom. One, two, three. And uh, Seth Rollins retains the United States Championship in Austin Theory. And lost his money in the bank and didn't even win. Now, I know there's some people that are feel, that's going to feel like, oh, wow, you just buried Austin Theory. And to an extent, I wouldn't say bury but at the same time, his stock from when Vince McMahon was in the company to Triple H taking over everything is completely plummeted. And when you really, really look at it, I've been seeing reports that Triple H may have had and he may have an idea of who's going to beat Roman. Finally, Austin Theory was never going to be in that situation. Austin Theory was never going to be the guy to cash in on Roman. Now, of course, a lot of people are thinking, well, maybe he can cash in on the, of the baby face that beats Roman. It would give him super nuclear heat. But I think the route they were going is when you do something like that, whoever beats Roman needs time to hold that championship, you know, because that's a milestone that will obviously never be duplicated him having the championship for so long and someone finally beating him it would kind of take away from the overall story if if all of a sudden the guy that's beaten that's beaten roman reigns say for example 
Say, for example, we're not, I'm not saying he will, but say, for example, Cody Rose is the guy to do it. They go with Cody to be the guy to get the job done, right? That's going to be a monumental moment. It's going to be a let crazy moment, right? And then maybe he has the title for like maybe a month, if that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a month or two, and then uh, he loses it due to a cash-in. Now, it makes sense because he'll get nuclear heel heat, but at the same time, it kind of diminishes Roman's overall reign because now it got cashed in so quickly. Now it's, the title's just transferred to somebody else. That's what I'm saying. If you're going to have someone beat Roman, they need to be able to actually really ride that wave of holy shit, they did it, and have somewhat of a decent title reign. You know, I'm not saying have like a another 800-day uh, title reign, but they need to be the guy that's like, okay, he he's the guy that's taking over. He's going to be the, the head guy of the company. So we need to give him a good lengthy title reign before he drops it to somebody else. Because you just don't want him to have it for like a couple of months, and then he drops it to Austin Theory, obviously because of the money in the bank stipulation, and then it'd be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it ended so quickly. Someone that beats Roman needs to have that that story of he's the next guy up, and this is why he beat Roman, and he deserves to be a, 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 a lengthy champion. That's just my take on it. Could be different for some of you guys, but I, I get they were kind of they were kind of booked in the corner in the sense because I just don't think Austin is ready yet to be a world champ. But at the same time, they hadn't really been booking him to look like he's ready to be a world champ too. At one point, he was losing matches for like <laughs> like almost two months straight. So I get it. I understand. It's a very interesting decision, but I think I think they were like, yo, we gotta find a way to get this off him. If they've come to a decision of who they have to be the, the the person to beat Roman, they're like, okay, well, we gotta get this off of uh, off of uh, Austin Theory because that kind of leaves him open to maybe do something with the person we're trying to get over Roman. So we may have to take this off him and kind of go from there, do a reset. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I it's not. I wouldn't say he's buried, but I do understand people's probably criticism. Like, damn, bro, he, what do you do with Austin Theory now? <laughs> like, what, like, actually, what do you do with Austin Theory now? Now that he doesn't have the money in the bank briefcase, he lost it trying to cash in on the United States Championship to an already injured Seth Rollins. It doesn't look good. I don't know what you can do. I mean, I... I, I can understand some people saying, yeah, he's done, he's buried, but at the same time, I wouldn't go that far. I just, you know, I don't know. They may have something else planned for him, so we will see. But ultimately, this was fucking insane, crazy stuff. This was a crazy Raw. Um, let me know down below, did you guys enjoy this Monday Night Raw? What you rate on a scale of 1 to 10? Also... How do you guys feel about Austin Theory no longer being the Money in the Bank winner and him cashing in on a mid-card title? Let me know how y'all feel about all of these things. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown me on this page. We are so close to 100K. We're definitely going to hopefully reach it by the end of this month, if not in the beginning of December. So I can't wait. I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, I think I may do like a 100K live stream, bro. Uh, we turn up. Um, uh, we have some drinks and stuff like that. Um, and uh, I'm going to try to figure it out. So stay tuned to that. But I appreciate all the love support. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one.